welcome to another starter video. My name is Stefan Eriksson and today we're going to be taking a look at the asdoc command. And while this asdoc command can do a lot of things for you in terms of turning in your start output into publication style tables, I'm going to be looking at it just for using it for, you know, constructing descriptive statistics tables. So first of all, you can compare this command very much to the outrig2 command I showed in a previous video. However, I actually prefer this command when it comes to constructing descriptive statistics tables. So the way we're going to be doing it is just like usual. I set up clear first. I set my directory to my starter videos folder like this. And we're going to be trying with the basis uh, auto data set that is to be found in Stata. So first loading this in. And this should come as no surprise. Of course, we've seen this data set before. It contains, well, information on these different cars here, the price, the miles per gallon, and trunk headroom, and so forth. We're going to be trying to construct nice tables using this data. So let's minimize this for a moment and go back to the do file we'll be working with here. So I'm going to be first constructing different styles of tables using this asdoc command. And then finally, we're going to take a look at it, how it would actually look. So asdoc produces a word or docs format uh, table or an RTF format table. So no need to worry, you should be able to open it regardless. And again, just consult the help file asdoc to see the other options here. But here we're just using it for showing, well, descriptive statistics. The asdoc command is straightforward. So for instance, if you just want to present standard summary statistics of essentially everything you see there, you can just write asdoc sum. That's all you have to do. However, there's... Well, of course, you have many other options, so let's just show a few. Again, asdoc command, and then let's summarize some different things. Price, miles per gallon, for instance. Let's see what else we have here. Rep 78, we have the headroom variable, and then we can also put in the trunk, say. There's many, many more things we can do. But comma here, and then we can put in the options that we want to consider. Well, some of them we can do is say we want to report the label rather than the variable name. This is often interesting, of course, it's more descriptive just than the normal variable name we use in Stata. So this is a nice way of presenting it. And then, of course, we can use the comma replace. What does replace do for you? Well, if you already have a file with the same name, then, of course, replace will just override this file. Otherwise, well, you will get a problem. You will see so for yourself. But replace simply just replaces the existing file. That's one way to do it with the labels. But of course, we can also just use different things here. So for instance, if we report exactly the same again, and then however, we only want to do it if the price is say higher than $4,000, then you can also make a summary statistics, uh, statistics table just for this subsample, which of course is extremely nice. So using if conditions for different prices, different ranges, or just in overall different subsamples. Finally, you can also just asdoc sum and simply just use it to construct the number of decimals you will need. Often you see three decimals be the norm, so let's just try this out. Now, I'm just going to run the entire do file and see what we get. You see, per standard, it's called my file, but if you would go in the asdoc help file, so asdoc, so help asdoc, then of course we can also see all these different things you can do here in terms of the asdoc command, regressions, frequency tables, correlations, so forth. It is relatively easy to use. And you can also go there and change the name of your file that you wish to print. So now I'll go to my folder. I go to my file here. And then we'll open here the file that we are looking at here. So what I see here is the descriptive statistics from the first, second, and third command are actually the second, the third, and fourth, because I used replace in the second command. So see, this is the standard you will see in most journal style tables. They always report observation numbers, the mean, standard deviation, min and max. We do the same here for the subsamples and again here for the entire sample. So you can see it looks already really nice. You can go and insert your own notes and that's essentially all you have to do. And then that's essentially it. So with that said, that is what I wanted to show for you today with using the asdoc command. I hope this has been useful. My name is Stefan Eriksson and until next time.